Mighty Generals, welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut brought to you by Pirate Water. It's the drink of the summer. It's the drink of the year. If you haven't tried it yet, you got to. It's a 10% ABV malt beverage. we got four delicious flavors. We have Margarita, Miami Vice, Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, personal favorite, Bahama Mama. Like I said, 10% ABV, tall boy can, super affordable, gonna get you bucked up. It's for the ragers. It's for the people that like to have fun and do it affordably. So if you haven't tried it yet, make sure you're doing that. Uh, get one in your hand this summer. You can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find Pirate Water in a location near, near you, or you can order it now on GoPuff. We love Pirate Water here, and this whole entire show is brought to you by Pirate Water. So make sure to check it out. Let's get into the episode. What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We are back and better than ever from Fiji. Yes, you're not tired. I haven't slept yet. I know you're not tired. Mm, I'm feeling crazy. Oh wow, it's hitting you like a, a way different way, huh? It's hitting <laughs> me in the well. I knew if I slept, then it would be you. Yes, yeah, disaster central. Yeah, disaster <laughs> central. I'm gonna be disaster central tonight. Absolutely gonna have to sleep for two days, but I can't. You can't. No, because where t- are you going? Away. Where? Was, where? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going away. I'm going she's to. She's going away. Not the kind of away I did, though. No. <laughs> I think she's going to have to go away after this. I, go away, I did, though. yeah. Uh-huh. Well, Brianna's been on her phone so much that I, that's how I told her. I, I Venmoed her and I said, hey, listen, if you ever see this, I am going to be checking myself in again. Oh, <laughs> you did really? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh wow! When I was you... waiting. I was waiting for you to look up from your phone. I don't get Venmo, Venmo requests. Oh. Notifications. So I'll go check that. How much you send me? Well, I just paid for half my meal. Oh, cool. Like I, I do that. If you, but you'll never see it, I guess. I have you don't so much your... money in my Venmo. Yeah, I, I guess you too. Dude, I'm like for on a rainy day when like I've got no money left, I got my Venmo. Squad. Let's see how much money I have in my Venmo. I seriously. It's gonna be absurd. People are probably not gonna like to hear the number. Uh, well, okay, this is a cumulative from probably two years. <laughs> Let's see. And I always pay, and then I'll just have everyone Venmo me. Two years of not cashing your Venmo? Wow. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like now. 6500 450 That's a good savings account. Yeah. That's going to be fucked, though. What? Because, because, because the taxes. Shit, man. I'm going to jail regardless. Hey, let's go. Let's go. So how are you feeling? So what did you, okay, guys, we got back from Fiji last night. We landed at midnight. Yes. We traveled for about two, 30, 30 hours. 30 hours. 30 hours straight. Which is just easy cake money. Yeah, easy cake money. Um, uh, But we slept on our flights mm-hmm. and uh, fucked ourselves. I didn't sleep last night. haven't slept yet. It's like six, five o'clock You seem right electric, now. though. Dude, I'm up. Yeah. I've had a lot. I've had a lot of energy. Word. In me, and I am ready to go. I've been at the office since like fucking 11, just running around saying, what's good? Yo, just dapping everyone up. I can't stop singing. Um, oh, You like my voice? You know that song that we did last night? Yes. It turned you on? Yes. That's not it. Well, until you see it in a phone. Oh, you're saying that to everyone in the office? Mm-hmm. And what are they saying? Is <laughs> HR involved yet? No, they like it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Good for you. That's pretty privileged. Yeah, I could do that. I'm <laughs> if I went up to someone and said, you know, like my voice, let me see me in my thong. They'd say, dude, you have to go home. I would say I would love to see you in a thong. I don't think that's accurate. Anyways, um, oh, God, sorry. I keep thinking about myself in a thong. This gross. Oh, Grace, you don't even wear <sighs> underwear, so you don't even know what that looks like. I know. It's disturbing to even think about. What kind of underwear do you wear? What uh-huh. do you do? Uh, well, right now I'm wearing baby bottoms. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Why? Because um, everything that's clean that I own is only vacation clothes. Oh, it's vacation mode. <laughs> I was just going to say that we went from um, never taking a vacation to too many vacations. We've maxed out on vacations. <laughs> and you're going on yet another vacation. <laughs> I'm not going on vacation. Oh. I'm just getting out of here. Okay. That's a lot to speculate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting out of here. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm getting out of here. New York in the summer fucking sucks. I have no friends left. So it's like, what the fuck? You can hang out with our friends. I can't. Why? Because it's a, it's, it's a whole different dynamic now. I don't know. We don't have to go there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I'm just totally getting out of here. And I have to go back to Boston to get my cats. Mm. So I'm going back. They're with mama. They're with my mom. They're with grandma. Granny. And she's going to probably skin them alive or something. <laughs> she doesn't really fuck with them very much. No, she like <laughs> pretends to fuck with them. <laughs> She's like, I love them. And I then, then she's over telling me, she's like, fucking cats are ruining MJ's life. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Which is your other, other cat. <laughs> I mean, you're the cat. Yeah, my mom's definitely going to kill the cats, but uh, 
I had to, they had to go somewhere. It was a divorce. It was a divorce. They mm-hmm. had to go somewhere and they were going to go with my mom because it's a great house and I love it. Yeah, it's a custody battle. So I have to go there and I have to get my cats and then I'm just going to, you know, bop around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about Fiji. Yeah, we went to Fiji, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're not, do we want to say we're going on Love Island? Can yeah. we legally, contractually say that? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Let's just keep all that in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not obviously not going on Love Island. And Grace posted a video where we were very clearly acting. Yes. And everyone's like, dude, this is so sick. I, I can't Everyone even believe it. that people thought that that was real. It's really bananas. And all the comments thought we were going. I yeah. love you guys, but come on. You are fools. <laughs> you I think mean, they're going to let us two come two on fools? to this stupid show? Well, actually, um, Brianna was walking around the house. So we got a tour of the, the villa. And she's walking around. She has never seen Love Island. She doesn't understand what the I've show's all about. I've seen one season. Okay. But you, we're running around saying, I've never seen the fucking show. <laughs> but I want to be on the show. Can I go on the show? And then one of the people that were like giving us the tour, they were like, yeah, just talk to this person over here and she was like yeah i'm doing it i'm like brianna you don't understand what the show is you have to fuck on the television not me but not her she says well because I she's would go gonna in. just be funny no i would go in and then i would get voted off because i'm not finding love but i would go in and then who knows maybe something would spark and i would just be so in love with someone and then i'd fuck on camera wow that's mm-hmm. a big 180 from um I will never a have cel- a one night stand a celibacy a celibacy never have a one night stand and um yeah, obviously, to fucking on camera. Obviously, I couldn't go on Love Island, but that but villa they were was ready sick. to put her on, which is just which is just wild. That villa was sick. It was so cool. Where do we start? Okay, so we went to. Everyone is confused why we went to Fiji. Mm-hmm. So I got invited to. I got this email, and I thought it was totally uh, sex trafficking. Yeah, like, it sounds fraudulent. Because it was very last minute. And it was like, hey, we want to fly you out to Fiji for Love Island. I'm like, what? Are you being serious? That and I think like I a- responded, what? Are you being serious? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, they were like, yeah, uh, it's going to be three nights, whatever. Let's do it. And then I asked you, I said, you want to go to Fiji? Mm-hmm. And you said, obviously, I want to go to Fiji. Obviously, I want to go to Fiji. I'm going to wait. <laughs> yeah, so we went to fucking Fiji. It was us. Um honorable mentions i'm gonna fucking forget a few people but we had duke markel remy larn wolf uh laray the pe- those are like probably the people they would know gbt gbt yes um anyone else there was a lot of people there i'm, I'm gonna f- there's a lot of people names. um tati tati yes super funny uh um, savior yes a bunch it was just a it was, bunch of influencers yes. and they flew us out for the premiere of love island so they wanted us to go to the villa which me and grace like we said, we're not really like the biggest Love Island watchers. We know what it is. Super great. Love Love Island. But we weren't like as infatuated with it. So mm-hmm. we went in with kind of like low expectations. Then we got to the villa. Oh, my God. Oh, my. I I mean, she just said it. I wanted to go on the show. It was gorgeous. It was like insane. The attention to detail. It was crazy. Plus, um, like, it, you know, when you so you you know, when you're trapped in a house for months, but no. Uh, actually maybe quarantine you do know when you're trapped in a house for months and you lose your mind and there's not enough space to get away from people yeah they have plenty of space it's huge plenty of space they got the beach right there dude it was right just in the wall the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life and it was so crazy how like strict they were and how crazy the production was like there's actually insane a camera in every single crevice like you see every second every move that these people are making it's wild i mean yeah no i would i would totally go crazy on that show they had one of those pools where you can see the person under the water it was glass it's really cool and they like made i guess that's just a glass pool (laughs) cool though yeah um but they made so the house was already there but they built onto the house and made like other levels the hideaway thing like it was just I've never seen such a perfect house. And then we went into a room and we found a hot tub. It yeah. was like a secret room with like a, like a tiny, tiny person door. Yeah. And it was a hot tub. And I think that's called the hideaway. Oh, the highway. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they also had um, like a bed with a bunch of fur around it. And, and sex toys. Sex toys. Yeah. It was epic. It was crazy. People were fucking there. So everybody had an hour to make their content. Yeah. Because that's why they were, everyone was there to make content. And that was just as an outsider looking in i guess i guess i was like you made plenty of content everyone's crazy 
Like everyone was going crazy for an hour, just like, get in this, get in this. You need to get in this quick. Come on, we only have an hour. It was. It felt like we were in like a competition game show. It did. It felt like we were in a Mr. Beast video. Yeah. It was like, you have to get it done. You got to come on but quick. But also, it was because we were there for what, an hour and a half and no one started to make their content. We were on our A game. We did it the whole time. Mm-hmm. But everyone else was just chilling for like the first 45 minutes. Yeah. And then at the end, everyone was like, we need this, that, that. <laughs> I'm like, dude, come on. We had like a whole hour and a half. No. But it was so cool. Um, But I couldn't drink in Fiji. Yeah. So Brianna, got, Brianna, Brianna couldn't drink in Fiji. I, it was the most devastating news. I thought she was kidding when she told me. And I didn't take it serious until day two of her not drinking in Fiji. And I said, wow, that's going to be the whole trip until. Um, well, I had. So I had obviously my kidney stones. Then I got a kidney infection from my kidney stones. And then I got an infection from my kidney infection. So I had to go on really heavy antibiotics. And like, there's like, I was, dude, I was, this is the first time I got on Reddit. Mm. Like I was like, how can I drink on these antibiotics? Mm. Like I was trying to find a way. And it was basically saying you're like going to explode and just be so sick if you drink these. And I sound so irresponsible and stupid, but you're in Fiji for Mm. Love Island with your best friend. Obviously you want to drink. So I was trying to find any way possible that I could didn't work i know didn't and it was it. i mean free drinks gorgeous drinks every time i got a drink brianna would be like how's that taste i'm like oh it's disgusting i was just started picking out what drinks grace would get because i wanted to live vicariously through her and then mm-hmm. everyone was drunk so that's when i realized i was probably uh, i mean I've, uh, i'm an alcoholic i guess you know you just want to have a drink in fiji it's not that yeah it's not that crazy yeah it was just really hard for me <laughs> to yeah. um see everyone drink and social settings like that yeah i need it i know it's tricky especially when you don't know anyone to depend on it but um, yeah yeah i wanted it it's fair that's fair enough yeah but um it was great what sucked about it though was we only got one day of sun yeah and then it rained it rained the whole entire time it was pretty killed out yeah sun said it chilly really um it was like the best movie days (laughs) yeah it was yeah yeah but um one day so one of the days it was like really cold and raining and all we were looking for was a hot tub can i get a hot tub can i get a hot tub please and um she's making a crazy face over there sorry what happened i don't know i don't know if you guys care but sofia figara and joe manginello they separated i know i saw that is this devastating oh it is devastating you know, Sophia Regara from Modern Family. Oh yes. Yeah, her husband. There's he's so handsome. Okay, sorry, but that's just shocking. I love them together. Is there a reason? Just says after sep- no, just says they separated after six years of marriage. Mm. Well, Ariana Grande is gonna get, get rid of her man oh, too. Yeah, Ariana, Grande. Ariana Grande. Mm-hmm. Ariana Grande got rid of her man. Why would you say that? <laughs> what? Why would you say that? Because when everyone's getting engaged, everyone's breaking up. Oh. Isn't that like the I literal thought, I whole thought, I thought plot you said everyone, world? <laughs> well, I thought you said everyone who's getting engaged is going to break up. I'm like, no. that's not very nice. Said everyone's getting engaged and everyone's breaking up. Yes. Separate. Two separate occasions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I understand. Love is real or not. We'll find out next episode of Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were you saying now? Fuck it. <laughs> um, no, the, the rainy day. Oh, the rainy day. We were, so we were looking for a hot tub. Mm-hmm. And we couldn't find a hot tub, so we decided to go find a hot tub at another resort. Mm-hmm. So me, you, and Duke, we got we got on our on our walking shoes, and we started walking. And we were gonna go to the hotel next door, and so we're walking down so the street, confidently, so, so com- We're like, go in with your head high. And we're Tell walk- them we have lunch reservations. Yeah, and and then we also had like a uh, room number ready, just in case they said no lunch reservations. So we're walking with our head up high, and they go, excuse me, excuse me. We go, mm-hmm, thank you. Lunch and at 12? We just keep walking. We're like, going to lunch. <laughs> going to lunch. And they're like, no, excuse me. And we're like, oh, what? Like, hi. Oh, fuck. Fuck, we're caught. We're caught. Fuck. And they go, mm, this resort doesn't open until 2024. And we're like, oh. and, then a bulldo- <laughs> and then a bulldozer drove by to go build the resort. And we were like, oh, I must have had the wrong oh, location. Oh, we're at the wrong one. <laughs> and then we start walking. And we're like, we need to find a hot tub. We need to find a hot tub. Crazy. There's no hot tubs in Fiji. <laughs> but we come past this guy. And he's like, come here. Come here. Are you guys 25? And we all go, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever you need me to be. Of course we're 25. He goes, 25? Well, I got a time shift for you. And then he tries to say, <laughs> and I go, oh, I'm not 25. Like, oh, uh, he goes, he goes, you, you've you come to Fiji a lot? You, you're from Australia, right? I go, no, I'm from the U.S. I don't really come here often. He goes, what? <laughs> I know. I was like, dude, we have American accents. <laughs> And then Duke was like, no, I'm actually 22 again. And he gave us his whole spiel on uh, a fucking timeshare. And we were like, okay, well, maybe we should buy into this so we yeah. can get a hot tub. So I said, what if, what if we look at it today instead of going to the seminar tomorrow? And, and then, he said, yeah, 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 go ahead. 
but they might not let you in. And we, and we said, said okay. head high. <laughs> We're going in. We walked in with our head held. So I was, yes, sir. Thank you. We've been here. <laughs> Walk straight into the hot tub. And this is where it kind of gets crazy. Well, we did not go to the timeshare. No, we went to the other hotel. Yes. Yeah. We went to, we found our hot tub. We found our hot tub. And we walked in with our heads held high and said, this is ours. I did. Yes. And um, so that's when we got in the hot tub. <laughs> With the family from New Zealand. Okay, so picture <laughs> the tiniest hot tub possible mm-hmm. with the most amount of people possible. Yeah. That's where we were. And mm-hmm. it was lukewarm. <laughs> and so so Brown and Duke, they were um they were just hanging out with this New Zealand family. No one was talking. Um no, when we got in they went silent. Okay. And then me and Duke started talking about murder. Mm. And then I joined after because we what we stupidly forgot was we forgot um, anything that we could buy with money. So we we <laughs> means we, we forgot our wallets. We forgot our wallets. <laughs> yes. So we didn't have any. We didn't have anything to buy anything with money. And I really, really, really wanted a drink or water or something to eat with my hands. So guess what? I got a free water and I came back to the hotel. I mean, I came back to the hot tub. And that's really important. That's really important. Yeah, I had I to add that. That's really important. I'm that. really excited about the way I am today. <laughs> okay, next. Um, so <laughs> Grace gets in the hot tub, and me, Duke, and Grace had an ongoing joke. Okay, so it's white. <laughs> it's White Lotus esque. Okay? Yes. it's like a very. We felt like we were in Hawaii. We felt like we were on White Lotus show. So we kept saying. Someone on the trip is gonna die. Someone's getting murdered. <laughs> Hypothetically, we hypothetically, were... not, not our hands were clean. No, no blood on our hands. No blood shed. But hypothetically, mm-hmm. all right, guys. Quick commercial break uh, for Zocdoc. I actually used it yesterday, and I found out I have an infection, and I can't drink in Fiji because I have to take antibiotics that I luckily got from Zocdoc. Thank God, but I wish I never found out. But thank God I used Zocdoc to find out, or I could have died. Okay, so if you're trying to find a cause for your symptoms, and you stumble down a TikTok rabbit hole full of questionable advice from so-called experts, there are a lot better ways to get answers you want and the care you deserve from trusted professionals and not random people on the internet, which I was about to do until I got on Zocdoc. So it helps you find expert doctors and medical professionals that specialize in your care that you need and deliver the type of experience you want so zocdoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed take your insurance are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun seriously it's the biggest lifesaver especially if you're busy if you don't have doctors that you already know and trust zocdoc helps you find them super quickly and like i said you can get a prescription in a literal day so you can go to zocdoc doc zocdoc.com slash brie and download zocdoc app for free to find a book and top a rated doctor today many are available within 24 hours like i said that's zocdoc.com zocdoc.com slash brie zocdoc.com slash brie make sure to check it out we're picturing ourselves we're like how do we make this fun it's raining let's pretend we're in a mystery murder show yeah so and we're the ones that escaped the yeah. murder so we escaped the <laughs> hotel and we went to the Radisson for the hot tub and we start thinking of all the ways Mm. that people are gonna die and who would be murdered in which way and we were in this (laughs) hot tub like I said small hot tub as many people as possible Mm -hmm. in it we're all on top of each other's laps we're speaking very loudly yeah everyone can hear us keeping it cool at all so it's me Duke and Grace talking about People are going to get cinder blocks to the bottom of the ocean. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a machete involved. It's Ears were getting gonna, severed. Limbs were everywhere. <laughs> like it was disturbing. It was disturbing. Yeah. It was. It was very. But I much, loved it. Yeah. We tried to mix the purge and white lotus. We were kind of coming up with our own show. Yeah. We're fucking crazy. Yeah. We were bored. What yeah. else are you going to do? We're so, just creative. Yeah. We're sorry. We have creative bones and uh, severed <laughs> that <needs> limbs. Snapping. <laughs> <laughs> so we were in there. And we're creating a murder mystery show, forgetting that there's children in the hot tub mm-hmm. with their families and english they, speaking adults they can all they are hearing what we're saying they're watching us we engage in a few conversations then we also realize we have no money a lady took her watch off so we start kiddingly being yeah. like how many chicken sandwiches do you think <laughs> we can get for that watch the lady grips her watch yeah uh-huh. <laughs> we're like no that's not true it, how many people how, do you think we can murder like <laughs> yeah it's just it wasn't looking great for us it really wasn't and then so we're talking all this crazy murder we're in there for Maybe 40 minutes talking all this shit. And then one of the guys butts in. Let me, let me try and do it. What? Let the guy, the guy butts in. How about, how about you, prisoner? Oh, yes. Okay, so this <laughs> is the guy talking to me. And he says, how about you, prisoner? And I look at Grace and Duke. I go, prisoner? How, how is, did he know? <laughs> how did he know about the prisoner? And he kept saying, how's your prisoner? I go, prisoner? What? 
what? <laughs> and then we start freaking out that they heard everything. We just kept saying, prisoner? What do you and mean? He goes, pr- like, president? Yeah. Like, oh, you want to talk politics, buddy. And then we, then got, we got out, out of the hot tub. tub. <laughs> <laughs> then we got out of the hot tub and found $20 cash on the side of the road. Because Brianna's a witch. <laughs> and and got, I'm back to witch. She's a witch. And we got our um, <laughs> we got our cash and we took a taxi home and that was it. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. And then we took a nap. Yep. There's a lot of napping in Fiji. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone was so exhausted. I didn't think I, I don't think I ever got a nap in. Uh, I don't know. It was, uh, it was very slow, long days. Yeah. Well, it, it, it was great though. It was great unwinding. Um, but once you got on Fijian time, it was time to leave. Yeah. That was the tricky part. Nobody really usually goes from New York City to Fiji for 72 hours, but hey, happy to say I have. Yeah. Dave asked me today. Would you do that again? I said, absolutely. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, who wouldn't go to Fiji for free? I mean, yeah. Of course. Of course. Um, and uh, yeah, it really sucked not drinking. We realized that we're a dynamic drinking couple. Yeah. And, you know, it's tough not to do it together. Yeah. I couldn't even really drink that hard without her. Half the Just people something on to the, stop the shakes. trip were sober as well. Yeah. But like a lot of them, you wouldn't have known they're sober. No, they're so, everyone was super fun. Everyone, everyone was so nice and fun. But I was like, score big time. Everyone's sober. It makes yeah, this a little worked easier out for, for you. me. Yeah. But it was sad. We didn't get to drink together and enjoy the fusion alcohol. But it's okay. I'll see you in September. Yeah. So uh, do you know what age you think people start feeling old at? I read a crazy article today. Well, quick segue from that. Did you see the Golden Bachelor that came out? What does that mean? There's a 71 year old who's going to be the bachelor. What? And everyone's scary. There. I thought two turn Tony was going to be the bachelor. <laughs> no. <laughs> the last thing we said. Two turn Tony's grandpapa. Did you see Kim K wanted to be the bachelorette? What? Yeah. It's out of control. Why would she want to do that? Wait. So can we show, can you show me the, yeah, golden? I'll show you him. Is he, he's hot. Is he going to have grannies on? Yeah. yeah and they're, they're like, wow, it's awesome because he's, everyone's looking They've for love. They've been advertising it for like a while, like on the previous seasons of bachelor bachelorette, like, uh, like a preview would pop up and it'd be like if you or anyone you know like over the age of 50 is looking for love like submit your application whatever because so there was always like an inkling that they were going to do like an older what? bachelor bachelorette so yeah they just announced it today gary do you and think he, people are going to really want to watch that i mean honestly i think i do he seems really sweet and he <laughs> did looks this- like arnold schwarzenegger without the pump up yeah he <laughs> He's did hot. this interview with um good morning america and he was talking about like how his wife passed away and how he like they like agreed like before she passed that like that she would want him to like be happy and be on the bachelor <laughs> and yeah i think it, it'll just be a, it'll be a nice refreshing way to get back to like them actually like looking for love and not just wanting to be famous be instagram famous because yeah. yeah. it's like why does a six-year-old woman care about being instagram i think famous? a lot of six-year-old women looking for love are insane yeah they're really they're really like not I don't want to say in six year old woman's looking for love going on the bachelor are insane. Yeah. That's crazy. It's going to be epic. Imagine viewings. seeing your gram gram on the television. <laughs> that's yeah. Be sick. Awesome. Getting all horned up for this rocket. Why don't you get granny on? She wouldn't do that. She's a nun. I forgot she wants to be. a nun. She wants to go back to a convent and actually try nunnerism. I could <sighs> dig my granny up. Mm. Mm. Throw that bag of bones into <laughs> the fucking television. <laughs> I was thinking my grandma's single too. Woo! Oh, <laughs> Get her on the bachelor. Come, Come on, on granny. granny. Spread those <laughs> pussy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, Yo you chill. Know what time Grandma's say, pussy. Chill pamphlet. on me, mom. <laughs> I meant to say pamphlet. Please. We call um vagina pamphlet now. Mm. My pussy's a pamphlet. Oh. Because it's three folds it, and it opens educational? and has a lot of love mm. inside. Mm. Yeah. And there's a lot of information a lot of information <laughs> to learn uh-huh. yep get to know me inside of my pamphlet um <laughs> there were a lot of hot guys in fiji oh my gosh I was, and the fiji people are i so told nice you that before kind. you left i know everyone was so sexy in mm. fiji it was, it was bizarre i was like dude great look at this guy i know like the locals everyone yeah, everybody yeah yeah, yeah. yeah the around, locals though. the locals were so the workers hot. yeah everyone was so Hot. Yeah. Hot and kind of nice and awesome. It was a beautiful, happy place. They should call it the Happy Island instead of Aruba. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fiji was beautiful. It was beautiful and awesome. And I w- wonder if there's anything more we could say about it, but... It wasn't like a very um, crazy, insane trip. It was just like a nice getaway. It almost... Yeah, it almost felt like... like a, um, felt like, like a, a real retreat. vacation for like, once. Yeah, yeah. Like a good retreat. But you didn't smash. No. Your TikTok was really funny. 
Oh, thank you. About yeah. the about the when you're um, swimming dirty in the pool. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh you did. Go I swimming. did a lot of um, time by myself on the trip. That's and I good. wasn't feeling good a lot of the times, oh. so oh, I was just so kind of throwing up everywhere. It was so sad, oh. frolicking around. You were throwing up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez. It was yeah, she, bad. She woke up and she wasn't even drinking, and she's like, "This is the worst hangover of my life." But I didn't even drink. Ever had? I felt like I got hit by a truck. My fucking because I wasn't eating with my antibiotics. I would just take it in the morning and then before bed, and then I would just wake up and throw up everywhere. I was like, "Is this real life?" Seriously, Ugh. are you freaking <laughs> serious right now? But then I would get, I would get back at it. Yeah. I mean, I was only, I was up and at him. I just wasn't drinking, which was sad. Mm. But it was okay. I still had a blast. You can have fun without drinking. <laughs> Gun to my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, but okay, back to the question. Do, what age do you think people start feeling old? Like, don't feel young anymore. This article is kind of crazy. 37. 37? What's your guess, Gia? Yeah, I'd say like 50. 51. Okay. The first members of the millennial generation, often classified as those born between about 1980 and 1996, begin to turn 43 this year. It's the average age when Americans stop feeling young, according to a study by Worldwide Independent Network of Market Research. So the early 40s, specifically 42, is when the average American starts noticing physical signs of aging. That's a long time ahead, so like we have plenty of time. Americans start noticing physical signs of aging, including achy joints, gray hair, Ugh. according to a September poll conducted on behalf of Found. I don't want achy joints. But that age made me feel like, oh, that's like way down the line. Yeah. 42? Yeah, I'm that's not even like, going to have to see that. I know. I'm like, what the hell? That's great. 42. 42. Like, I can't even bear to think about that. God forbid. No, I thought people were going to say like 30. Yeah, no, 30s, 30, people love their 30s. We say it all the time. People love their 30s. I know. So I'm excited that we're never going to get old until we're 42. Fantastic. That's what I took out of the article. You're not old until you're 42. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Right? That's basically what it said, I guess. <laughs> I know. It's pretty epic, man. Well, we kept having dreams that we were both dying. <gasps> oh, my God. On trip. It was <laughs> crazy. I had two dreams in a row that Grace died. It was the worst. What did I call you and say? Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Or it's, I was, It was terrible i was sobbing i woke up sobbing because i was sobbing in my dream she died and i just remember being at her funeral being like you have to be strong you have to be so strong and then i just went to the bathroom it's like you can't live a life without your best friend <laughs> and then i woke up went back to sleep she died again dude that's and then you double die dude we died together in my dream um <laughs> we were we were plummeting to the ground um from an ex an um a parachute accident and we just kept saying, I love you, man. I love you, man. This is it. It's finally it. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Oh, my God. We're really going to die. And I died in my dream. I actually did. Yeah. And we smashed onto the concrete in Vegas. <laughs> oh, God. What a way to go out. What a way to go out. And I saw white for like 15 seconds. And you're not supposed. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Because you're medicine. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. That's terrifying. I know. Glad we're alive. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. For now. Yeah. Oh. So you're feeling down? No. Oh. Feeling. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I feel you, man. We're just um, over, over tired. Yeah, it's Aww. been it's been a whirlwind of a couple of weeks. We went home and went straight to Fiji, mm-hmm. which was home was Pound Town. Pound Town, literally. I forgot you got pounded, but it was also Disgusting. Pound Town Drink Town. We drank every single day, and then we went straight to Fiji. So of course, we're feeling a little bit out of it. Yeah, it's like back in the days when we would go through those horrible, horrible cycles. Yeah, of death and destruction. Yeah. Anyways, didn't you and Remy get like your flights changed or something? Oh yeah, I almost couldn't go to Fiji. That was stinky. Yeah, um, well, I got drugged at the airport. Everybody slept on this pact, dude. Nobody I cared. I, let, I just let it happen. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, so I, oh my god, how did we forget about this? Know. Okay, we went to the airport, and I went a little bit early because I wanted to develop my film before I went. So I met. Grace met me at the airport and I wasn't going to, I didn't start my antibiotics until we got to Fiji because I knew it was a long flight and I was like, I'm going to have my, my last glass of wine because I'm fucking crazy before the flight. <laughs> Woo! Woo! One glass of wine. So I go to the bar and in the airport and I'm alone and I, I like pull up my chair to the bar and the seat was terrible. So I like went up and I was like, oh, this seat sucks. And I like said it out loud. But the lady was like, what? And there was this crazy Russian lady mm. with bright red hair. And her eyes were, dude, she was so fucking terrifying. And I'm like, okay, I'm moving my seat. And she goes, I'll come with you. So then she follows me to the new seat across the bar where I would have had a different bartender. And she's working. She's, she's working. Bartender. Yeah. And she's like, oh, you know the scary like Russian. Mm. Like it was like Savannah. Ugh. 
Slavana from Shameless. Yeah. It was that exact vibe, but she was not hot like mm. Slavana. She was, I keep saying Slavana like Slavana. <laughs> not her. Slavana. 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 Um, Svetlana. Svetlana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, and uh, I'm like, all right, I'll get a, dude, I ate good too. So I got a chicken quesadilla. Nice. I got onion rings, nice. dude. I got a side of fries. So I ate all that. And then I'm like, yeah, I'll just have my glass of wine before the flight. So I'm like, can I have a glass of wine, please? And she's like, yeah, sure. And then she brings over a glass of wine and she pours this crazy thing in it with ice cubes and it's like turning white and she's spinning, stirring it in my face. I'm like, oh, what's that? She's like, I'm chilling it. And she's looking me in the eye saying, I'm chilling it. I'm like, I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, she's chilling it. And then I have one glass of wine. It's a tiny glass of wine. And I'm like, holy shit. If you guys remember the story about how I fainted with shrooms, that's exactly how I felt. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to call Grace. Mm -hmm. Obviously I need to call Grace because you were in the airport. So I was like, dude, is she going to come here? Like right now, like she's going to be here. I was about to pass out. I'm like, dude, I feel like I got drugged. And I'm like looking down at my phone. Everything is spinning. She's calling me. She said, she sounds like this. I think I got drugged. I don't even remember calling you. What, dude? I'm not even past TSA yet. This is fucked up. What am like? What am I gonna do? And I called Remy. I said, Remy, go get her. She goes, Well, is she really dying? I'm like, <laughs> Remy, go get her. Because she, Remy was dealing with the, the fact that her flight was canceled. Yeah. And so she's like, Well, I'm trying to figure out my flight. I'm like, Well, my flight is passing away. You're gonna die, <laughs> dude. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like dozing off. And I guess I call Grace all delirious and like. What the fuck, bro? I can drink a bottle of vodka and walk and talk and you would think I'm sober. Yes. I had one glass of wine, ate a full meal right before it, didn't take my medication yet. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I start, like, going down. And I'm like, this is going to be so embarrassing. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Fainting is so embarrassing. Fainting is so embarrassing. And then I'm like, what's going to happen? Like, is there some crazy sex trafficking lady that's going to be like, she fainted. She's going to take take me to the back with, like, EMS and then put me on a flight and fucking give me away. Yeah, I mean, that's what it sounds like at the airport. Are you kidding me? I know. That's what it felt like. And she was, like, staring at me the whole time. She kept looking at me. I asked for water three times. Wouldn't bring it to me. And I finally had to be like, can you get me that water? <laughs> I'm like, thank God. I had a past life of drugs because my tolerance is really high right now. Like, you can fucking do this, bro. You can fucking do this. I'm sitting there like, fight through it, fight through it, fight through it. And uh, I call you. I'm like, it's all right. Like, I'm going to be okay. So I, like, wobble out of the fucking restaurant. And I sit on a chair, like, hopefully waiting to run into you. And I'm yeah. just, like, sitting there fainting. I'm, like, trying to go on my phone to, like, read something to snap me out of it. And you show up. And I'm just, like, still so out of it. I'm like, dude, what yeah. the fuck? And uh, then I'm like... <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. What if I'm just dying? It was well, so I, I was, I was, I got all fucking upset. I'm like, dude, I'm going to go, I'm going to go in there and fucking kill her. I'm going to kill this woman. Yeah. Grace was ready to kill. And I'm like, dude, it's fine. And she's like, no, please don't. What if I'm crazy? I'm like, it doesn't really sound like you're crazy. Dude. I don't know. I was just like, I was just like, you can drive me, man. Whatever. It was so fucking scary. I had never felt like that in my life. And then you guys are running over talking about, all your flight shit. And I'm just like, dude, I can't even see you right dude, now. Dude, my God. It was bizarre. Remy's screaming about her flight. Grace <laughs> is like, I don't know what's going. You got the last seat. And Remy's like, what? <laughs> She's like, I wouldn't have sat in that seat anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, uh, it was chaotic. It was chaotic. I didn't think you were going to Fiji. And then I was like, well, I'm not going to Fiji. <laughs> if you're not going to Fiji. It was, it was, um, it, uh, again, everyone's just brushing past the fact that you got drugs. Hey, you live and you learn. Never, it, don't go to the JFK. Uh, if you see a Russian lady in the international uh, terminal at the fucking bar where they serve <laughs> burgers and quesadillas, run for your life, man. Because <laughs> that lady's a bad lady. That lady, lady needs to go to jail. And if you have haven't had a bad past life you will die from the drugging so you will be going on a flight to wherever the hell oh dude i just couldn't it was so crazy and then i said it out loud because there was a couple across from me i was like i think i'm getting drugged so that someone would be there to help me and the lady was like what's going on are you okay and then i just started going (laughs) did they help you at all or Uh, she was like oh and i was like "Ah, okay again nobody cares yeah nobody cares about a girl with hand tattoos i guess but (sighs) Yeah, it was it was wild, um, but I was fine. And yeah. we got on the flight. Everyone's flights were resolved. Yeah, I um, I got to the airport so early that I got upgraded upgraded to first class. That's really on cool. The first flight, and it was epic. Epic. Um, it was just it just really stunk because I had I had a flight to Fiji, and I could I could touch it, mm-hmm. and then it got ripped away from me because it got canceled. And I was like, were you guys not on the same flight? We were. We were. But when we all checked in, we all had 
different people that were either understanding where we were going and how it was mapping out or they just fully thought it was an illegally booked fl- flight huh yeah there was like a malfunction where they double booked us so it it looked like it was like suspicious oh yeah so my lady didn't say one word she just sat there and was saying mm-hmm. i'm like okay what's going on <laughs> and then it was fine but grace and remy went to a guy that was just an asshole hardo and was like oh. you guys aren't getting on this flight yeah and like right when i walked away they canceled it and i was like what the fuck and I was like, oh, my God, I'm technology. But they, they figured it out, and it was all fine, and it was all and it was all dandy. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. And then we went to Fiji, and it was epic. It was epic. <sighs> totally forgot that I got drugged at the airport. Yeah. yeah. People sleep on that. People I'm are so, sleeping on that. so strong and brave. You are so strong and brave. Oh, my God. That's just, I mean, that's just the bottom line there. You can get through anything, really, in life, I guess. Truly and honestly, you, yeah. you put it out there, and you get it done. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I forgot about that. Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, it was yeah. a great, great friggin' time. Oh, what have you been up to, Gia? Getting smashed? You know me, obviously. Another weekend. Another dick. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go. I actually went on a date (gasps) on Wednesday. Explain, Spill. It It was fun. We got drinks. Was it a blind date or a friend? No, no. It's a friend. Okay. Very randomly, he asked me to go out to get drinks, and (gasps) I said yes. Just you two? Yep. Just us two. That's a date. I know. (laughs) Were you nervous? I was very nervous. We were like... Like, I knew him really well in high school, but we kind of, like, drifted apart as the years come by. We started hanging out more because he moved back to the city. So then, yeah, he just asked me. We went to a bar, and we sat there for a couple hours, and then went back to my apartment, and it was fun. Lovely. Wow. Someone's having fun. (laughs) I'm getting drunk. I know. Grace is in the pool in Fiji. (laughs) My mom was like, like... You 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 should like find someone like it's a good time to like get like get back into I'm like I'm very much enjoying my single oh yeah life. it's single yeah. hot girl summer yeah totally totally Absolutely. wow good for yeah. you and you dyed yeah. your hair blonder which means you're down to fuck <laughs> so that's what, that what I hope yeah so. look at me man come on oh, yeah. wow. I'm just kidding I'm a celibate bitch <laughs> <laughs> well I thought you were what the hell did we just come across about I'm um, having fun she's having fun <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we came across about right uh, yes coming across in the boat I'm coming across as you're my best friend are you okay you're I'm my best friend you. you're my best friend okay everything's gonna be okay <laughs> yes okay perfect um apartment hunting yeah how's it going i slept through the showing this okay. morning of course that's okay i have um 10 days to find an apartment haven't even started looking uh i it's don't okay. think i can afford any of them um, my raise i don't think is gonna hit um my do you want me to help you look at places i could use all the help i can get yeah, yeah. I can help all you. i do is street easy street easy street easy yeah, my um my roommate already started packing i got yeah. home last night and all of her boxes are ready to go i that said what God. the fuck are you doing why Don't, are you doing that her yeah. roommate's like a real person though yeah that but like, like goes on runs <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's like too much time left. Like, we don't have any bowls. Yeah, wh- to use. What is she going to wear? <laughs> like, like, where's your clothes? I don't know. It really threw me off when I came home last night. I was like, seriously? No, I packed the night before. I totally forgot. Every but time we I packed even the had the morning up. Morning, morning up. It's time to go. Yeah, we're usually hopping on a flight. that much stuff. No, and we are usually just getting on a flight to go bye byes. So, yeah, Grace sent me a picture of her roommate's boxes last night after we just had like a hell travel day. And I was like, dude, I wish I could help you. Man. <laughs> yeah. That's tough. I just can't stop losing. <sighs> I lose a lot. You got bit by a shark in Fiji. I did. I'm so freaking strong for that. Yeah, that was Dude, wild. that shark, dude. I got to put up a picture of the, what the, the shark looked Wait, like. Wait, uh, yeah. It was freaking crazy. Yeah. I, I mean, it sounds like I'm making it up, but Looks literally, like, like, what it literally sucked on. Yeah. And the teeth marks. It was crazy. It is crazy. We're all getting so bit by get some sucking and fucking. I got some sucking and yeah. I was not. And then I, and then I fucking. Yeah, I'm fucking crazy is what I am. Let's fucking um, get it. That there's sea lice. So, dude, my favorite thing ever is to go in the ocean and to look at fish. That's my fucking favorite. Yes. And as soon as I jumped in the friggin' ocean, I started getting bit by sea lice, which I didn't even know were a real thing. She kept going, ow! And then I, I would go, ah! <laughs> and, and then I was, like, touching jellyfish, so I thought I was getting stung by jellyfish, but I guess they don't sting you. So I heard. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm, I, I, as soon as I got in the water and I could, I put my snorkels on and I was, I was like, no, oh, that didn't feel great. Mm, that didn't feel mm. great. And I didn't want to make a she big was deal out of it. It's left and right. <laughs> I, I, like, I was really trying to like keep it to myself because I didn't want to ruin everyone else's day. So I was like, oh. <laughs> You're just getting like thrashed on by like a hammerhead shark. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good. Right. I'm and, good. And I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna go back up there. <laughs> I'm gonna go back up on the boat. Grace, where's your leg? Yeah, so oh, I'm good. I'm bleeding out, but it's it's cool. It's, it's like Kool Aid. 
So, yeah. Can't stop winning. Um, I've developed, like, a deep fear of the ocean over the past, like, six months, I think. I well, think the, the, whales are, the whales are ganging up on people. They are. They're coming for you. I heard about this. <laughs> they're, they're capsizing. The, the, they're capsizing. Yeah, the, the whales yeah. are taking over, as they should. Yeah, yeah. it's their sea. You I'm are just their team. invading in They're it. making, like, the biggest... Um, cruise ship ever like bigger than t- the oh, titanic sure. whatever and someone retweeted and goes the orca whales can do the funniest thing possible <laughs> they can go and like try to flip the two they all go yeah. together they all oh, meet up wow. wow that would be sick they've just been eyeing this thing getting built and they're gonna wait till it's in the antarctic sea yes because that's where vacation boats go the antarctic sea obviously <laughs> well the titanic literally sunk like near New Jersey or New York, like not that far from here. Really? Well, far, but not as far as you think. I thought it sunk literally in like Antarctica. Yeah, I mean with the ice caps. Yeah. No, it literally sunk like, like a close. I would survive. That. Like, like if like more. <laughs> I would. Yeah, you would. would. Well, you're a woman. Yeah. And, and I would and be. Children. Um, I would be man. Jack. And I would be Jack, and I'd say, "There's not enough room." Uh. Dead. No. No, I would never let you freeze. I froze. I already froze before you could even think about it. I'm frozen and I'm dead. I guess I can't stop winning and losing. I can't stop no, losing. I can't stop you losing. I can't stop totally losing. Win. I can't stop losing. This is going to make you keep losing if you're going to tell the world. I've tried losing. to put the nice things out there and they're just disappointing. No, because you don't believe them. I do. No, you do. <laughs> I do believe them. I am so great. You have to believe it. I you have to see it. what I see in you, best friend. But see, that's Come so adorable. On. No, I'm being serious. You're being negative about yourself and it's not going to end well. You're going to die like Jack. I am. <laughs> You're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything's going to be okay. Yes. It's summer in New York City. Oh, so yeah. So I start smoking skinny cigarettes. Everything's cooler in life when you do that. <laughs> okay. Right? They make me throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on a cigarette kick. It always happens every time I come back from Europe. Mm. I like smoke cigarettes for like two months and then i just stop eventually. are you still in the cigarettes yeah so like after this you're gonna go smoke one outside that's probably when I get or back home. at your desk at my on my porch oh, at night perfect. i'll sit outside and just smoke a wow, cig that's, that's sick nice. it does make me kind of feel cool to it's be pretty honest. epic actually i'm like damn i wish someone could see me like this get I'm them just cigs rolling his legs boys. up <laughs> see dude all you need is a cig yeah, yeah. come on <laughs> cigs do make me throw up too she put she just posts a picture of like the cigarette and like yeah like, ugh Tags like, France. Yeah. Long day. <laughs> France. Yes. Long, oh, long day. Long day in the office. Miss Italy. Ugh, European oh. vibes. You Ciao. Really get it. Have going you guys- to bed. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. You ever been to Italy? Uh, no, haven't. Uh, <laughs> Did you just ask yourself if you ever been to Italy and then you answered and said, no, I haven't? Yeah, I want to go. I'm La Paglia. Uh, La Paglia. I'm La Paglia and I've never been to Italy. I don't even know where I'm from. Oh. I know nothing about my family. You know what you I was thinking? You should do that. You should find out about your family. I know. Well, yeah. I don't got time. But what I was thinking. <sighs> God forbid. I was thinking our children, God forbid we have some, mm-hmm. are going to have a literal diary of all of our lives like yeah. we're, they're gonna be able to watch and see a guide all of the mistakes yeah. all of it i don't think it's a bad thing well i'm not gonna ever be able to tell my kids not to do drugs because they're gonna pull up that one era <laughs> of our lives and say well well you got through it no, huh you know what i think it might be reverse i think they might be like Ugh. yeah that's i don't want to be like mommies yeah that's gross you had mommy you're gross <laughs> blue purple pink drug addict hair yeah and <laughs> you're gonna... that one didn't wash herself <laughs> <laughs> you guys look strong out man. you're actually not my mother <laughs> like we could say like if they start doing drugs we could be like I have something to show you. Yeah, it's like, mm, do you want to do happens. this? You want to be this? Because it's <laughs> not cool or fun or chill. When you party every day for every day for three years straight. Literally, yes. So I was, th- I was thinking that. That's so crazy. Like our kids, because we only know our stories from our parents. Our kids are going to fully know who the fuck we are. Oh, and there's no yeah. hiding it. They could just Google it. They're like going to know exactly who they came from. That's wild. I know. Super crazy. I don't know. if it, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, it is kind of cool. Thing. So I don't know if they're going to turn out well, if we're going to guide them in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Mistakes are going to be made. It's like an online guided pamphlet, <sighs> but not a pussy. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Very different. Very, very, very different. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited for that. Children. That's you the give... last thing you want to hear. I don't Children? Know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Children. Yet, <laughs> please. No, no way. I mean... No way, man. 
I'm just Pass. having fun and making podcasts, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Life's man. hard. Just do, do your quick little podcast and then get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the life, huh? Yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. Julie is an FDA-approved morning after pill that helps stop pregnancy before it starts. Uh, Julie is aiming to be the emergency contraception company for the next generation, one of learning and acceptance so there's no stigma and there's no shame around it when it comes to complex and stressful choices around your health. They believe women deserve products that are easy in every way, easy to find, easy to take, easy to relate to, and easy to understand. So Julie stops your body from releasing an egg using the same active ingredient as Plan B or other morning after pills. So essentially, Julie works by preventing or delaying your ovulation. With no egg, there's no fertilization, and therefore there's no pregnancy and there's no risk to future fertility which is a very big common misconception so it works best when you take it right away or within 72 hours of unprotected sex it just launched at cvs but you can also find julia at target walmart stores near you across the u.s and you can also order online to have for the future just in case it's legal in all 50 states which is major you don't need an id prescription or a credit card to get it super accessible and like i said there's no stigma or shame around it so it's not just a morning after pill it's a morning after pill brand that's working to increase access to emergency contraception for women across the country so you can go to julie juliecare.co that's dot co to learn more or find julie at your nearest cbs target or target or walmart today that's juliecare.co to learn more make sure to check it out and uh take care of your health let's get back to the episode. um so in pop culture news <laughs> drama between other podcasters um becca moore and brooke Schofield. um becca moore and brooke Schofield were supposed to do a podcast together okay and it didn't really end up working out because I think Brooke ended up rekindling canceled. Yes. And Becca had, Becca had, Becca went on a podcast. I think it was Spence was. And she said that she was going to do a podcast with somebody, but um, she had a really bad feeling about the girl. And she's so glad she didn't because she ended up being right. And Brooke was like, oh, fuck off <laughs> you fucking bitch yeah and, I saw um, that. that's about it yeah brooke really. was like <laughs> you didn't you didn't show up to yeah. anything or like you were lazy or whatever we're just quoting them yeah um and uh, like you it wasn't your intention to end the podcast like you weren't i wasn't gonna work with you because you were lazy or something so they both had total opposite stories for it yeah um that's wild i mean, I mean i'm with brooke on this one yeah i know i don't know becca you worked with her. i worked with becca and um She's nice enough, but I, 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 I had that funny feeling about her. No way. Yeah, she. I mean, her. I, I worked for, technically, Becca and um, what's that other one's name? Alyssa Schoner. Yes, Alyssa Schoner. And when I was working for them, at one point, she didn't even know it. But at one point, she's starting the podcast. Like they, we recorded like a podcast, a couple episodes of their podcast that they had, um, in Nashville. And just like little shit, like she was like, "Go get my bag," and I was like, "Me? Yeah. Are you ta- are you talking to me?" And she's like, "Yeah, yeah." And I was like, "Oh, I I, I literally will hate you forever." <laughs> um, so that's that. And then like Becca was just like, "I don't know." Bad I don't. Feeling. Yeah, I just like you just got that get that funny feeling. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if she can claim bad feeling, you can claim bad feeling. But I think she thinks that I adore her, so I don't know. Uh, well, you, you, I'm piping hot tea on this episode, huh? <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, you just kind of went off. I don't really care Snaps anymore. to you, man. Let's go, Grace. Going off. She's on fire. Uh, I have you back no matter what. So uh, whose car we taking, you know? Whose car we taking? Whatever. No one's going to tell my girl to get her bag. Yeah. Get well, no, yeah. Alyssa can fuck off. But oh. when it comes to Becca, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's really how I feel. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. I like this. Piping Didn't hot Brooke tea. say that on our episode with her? She like said that she was supposed to do it with Becca. Yeah, she was gonna. They were gonna have a podcast, yeah. and they were like super excited about yeah. it. And then it never. That was like a while ago. Came too. out. I'm sure there was like all behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. But I think it's just crazy for like Becca to say she was the reason like she didn't want to do it with Brooke, and Brooke was like, "Hello, this is not what happened." Yeah. Yeah. And I, I got broke. I got broke. Team Brooke. Yeah. No, Brooke. Through through. Brooke's got my heart forever, mm-hmm. man. She's got a cute cat, so. That's it? I just said she has my heart forever. <laughs> and she's got a cute tan. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I love Tana. So whatever their team, I'm on their, I'm in their car. And th- that's the car we're taking. Yeah, that's <laughs> the car we're taking. Damn, we started beef? I don't care. <laughs> we are, I mean, views are down. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's fucking start some beef, man. I mean, after going on an influencer trip, beef is where the, the money is. M- money is. Dude, I know. Mm-hmm. We should have just started a bunch of fake beef on the trip. I know. Or real beef. 
Who would you want to <laughs> start beef with? Markel? Um, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, he does no. He's the best one. He would kill us in the beef. <laughs> Him in the beef and two of my boys. <laughs> um, uh, me, Grace, Duke, and Markel are going to Myrtle Beach. Oh, and yes. we are staying in someone's house that has tigers and you elephants remember, to swim with. Do you remember Tiger King? A doc. Oh. Yeah, doc. Um, that's literally one of Markel's connects somehow and Markel, i don't really what are you know <laughs> Markel is such a character i love him and we were like what do you mean there's elephants that doesn't seem illegal <laughs> yeah myrtle beach i know so is that florida wild. or no south carolina south carolina. carolina but dude Markel is a different specimen of a human it's crazy he doesn't Electric. he doesn't drink or do anything and he is just his energy he's just like has star power yes. like he walks into a room it's Markel's mm. here. You're laughing. You're happy. He's twerking his asshole off. He's singing his heart out, and he's a beautiful singer. At one point, we were at dinner. We had a lovely, gorgeous dinner on the beach, which was lovely and gorgeous. And Markel was gone for a second, and then there was music playing. Like, somebody was, like, singing for the music. And all of a sudden, the, the singer sounded different. And we said, is that Markel? It, it was. It was more And the whole crowd was around him. Mm. Tears in everyone's eyes. Oh, it was gorgeous. And he's just like, thank you. He's thank like, thank you. you. Let's go have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm just like, what? He could dance good, sing good, funny, smart. Like, just he's great. Yeah, he's mm. great. He's a great guy. I wish to be a guy like Markel. Mm. They just, I don't understand how you have that much energy. All a the lot time. of energy. All the time. All the time. What a freaking guy. And then we just have us talking about murder the whole time. Yeah, we just couldn't stop talking about murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were in our spooky era. Yeah. Yeah, it feeds you to do that to you, huh? Ooh. Such a banger, man. Yeah. My parents went to Terramina, the place where they filmed it. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, really? yeah, they said it was lovely. Wow. No one got hurt? No, thank God. Wow. That you know of. Yes, that is true. Mm. Maybe your mom's bad. I hope not. Her mother? <laughs> I don't know. Her I'm mother's just trying the, to spook someone. Her mother's the killer? Your mother's the killer. Oh, God, Laura. Laura. <laughs> Have you guys watched uh, The Summer I Turned Pretty Part yep. 2? Don't even get me started about that show. Do you show. love it? I am obsessed. Okay, I just recently watched the first season when I got my nose job. Yeah, don't spoil it because I haven't okay. watched season two. Ugh. But I I was like, this is going to be the stupidest show. No. It's so corny, but I was like, I am hooked. Yes. I know, it was really corny. And it was one of those shows that I thought I was going to hate so Same, much. But it was and it's so not good. that bad. It's no, not. No, wait till you get to the second season, guys. It's so much better. That Even the acting, obviously there's still parts where I'm like, ugh, what the fuck was that? But the, I feel like the acting is better. Because it they has like puberty. A, maybe. <laughs> they have like a deep, it has like a deeper, like more like dark tone. Ooh. It's very good. Well, I know good. what I'm watching tonight. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, um, what team are you? Oh, Conrad, obviously. Mm. Wait, okay. how is Jeremiah? No! Wait, is Jeremiah the buy one? Yeah. I'm Team Jeremiah. <sighs> I was after season one. Well, you'll, you're you're going to be more Team Jeremiah after this season, I'll tell you that. Oh, more Team Jeremiah? Yeah. Then why the fuck are you on the losing side? Because I know Conrad and I know... <laughs> <laughs> You know his heart. Yes. You know where his moral ground lies. He's struggling. He had to struggle because he was the only one who knew that his mom had cancer. You're such an empath. I really am. Oh, my God. Yeah, but Jeremiah is so caring and loving, and he was always there for her. Yeah, but he only liked Belly after she turned pretty. Conrad liked her from the beginning. No. Oh, he didn't even recognize her. Girl. (laughs) They danced together when she had braces. Yeah, because he felt bad for the little girl. (laughs) This little ugly sister, let me dance with her. Ugh, well, whatever. I, now I'm like, what the fuck? Let's start a war. What team are you guys? <laughs> Everyone watches this, which is crazy because it's such an insane show. I know. They were in the office. Yes, I met them. How were they? They were sexy. Mm. I met Jeremiah. I don't know what was wrong with him. Gavin. Gavin. Yeah. I met him at the Vanity Fair party. Oh. And he was a sweetheart. He has piercing He thought it was eyes. dating Josh. And he goes, is it okay? Oh. We <laughs> took a picture. He says, can I put my arm around her? Oh, a gentleman. Oh, he was nice. so, and Josh was like, I'm not fucking dating her. <laughs> I was like, Emma. we're just buddies, man. <laughs> you can put your arm around me. <laughs> but um, yeah, he was um, he was gorgeous. He kind of looks like Josh a little bit. Yeah, they they have that same vibe. Yeah, but they were super sweet, and I, I introduced myself, and Gavin was like, "Is Gia short for Giovanna?" And I was like, "No, it's just Gia." Oh, I would have said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yes, <laughs> sir, yeah. indeed, so." Yeah. Um, how was the other guy? 
He was nice. He's a little bit more quiet, mm. Chris. Just like he is in the show. Yeah, he, yeah, they are very similar to their characters, which mm, I guess wow. makes sense. I wish Belly was here. Me too. She she's seems cool. cool. Yeah, she's gorgeous. And girl. they use so much Taylor Swift in the show too. I love it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a high production. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of money. That's a lot, a lot of, of money. money. To Taylor herself. Yeah. yeah. Taylor, I saw a statistic of Taylor getting $13 million a show. Wow. Oh. That's nothing. I, I get that. I get that. Well, I get close to that. I get 11.5 mm. for each of these we do. Me, you do? Yeah. yeah. That sucks. I saw. I yeah. just get Takis. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I was but just I, kidding. I get cookies. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, $13 million a show. Uh, what do you even do with that much money? Is she even know. donating it, Taylor? Come on, Gia. Say something. I don't know. To defend her. I will say, though, her tour has boosted the economy. Mm. what yeah because it <laughs> it raises like hotels and like waiting jobs and like they need more staff for certain events and all that stuff so wow go taylor you're just changing the world yeah, hospitality so. i'm getting, I'm never getting been framed higher. as a taylor swift hater what hell because you guys do hate on her I don't, well dude I'm i don't just, get the fandom that's I'm it just being a little realistic <laughs> i'm just being like you guys are i'm not a taylor ha- i'm not a taylor hater i want that on record i'm yeah. just a Taylor uh, realist. Yeah. And I speak the truth. Mm-hmm. And you guys are a little crazy. A little crazy. Corn. We've already di- dove into this. If we get any deeper, we're going to get No, I'm just, I'm just saying I want to say it here. I'm not a hater because I'm getting hater. fucking labeled as a hater. She's got great great music. She seems like a great gal. She can dance like no other. She performs like a, a rock star. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's all I need to say. Mm-hmm. I don't have to, I don't have to say I love her fourth toe in from the left. Millie Bobby Brown wrote a book. I don't know. <laughs> Should I read it? Yes. What the fuck is she? Someone commented on my TikTok and said I look like a combination of Fran and Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> what does that even mean? I said, God fucking damn it! That doesn't even nah, matter. She's actually girls. she's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Millie Bobby. She's Bo- getting Millie married. Bobby. Yeah. Wow. To Bon Jovi's son, John oh, Bon Jovi wild. Jr. Millie Bobby yeah. Bon Jovi. That's Sick. <laughs> Millie Bobby Bon Jovi. That's Millie Bobby a, Bon Jovi. That's, that's a banger of a oh name. Oh my god, take us back, Millie Bobby Bon Jovi. That is so cool. What a name, man. She's got to start singing her heart out. Does she sing? Yeah. She does. She's a that? singer. Have you ever seen that video? Her and she's like, oh, you may say yes. I'm a dreamer, yes. yeah. but she's not the only one. <laughs> I saw her do pull up in a monster automobile youngster. Yeah. Would have bet. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, I love Millie Bobby Brown. Um, <laughs> t- uh, a crazy segue. That Sound of Freedom movie, dude. Did you wait. guys see that they they just won't play it at the theaters? Wait, did you guys know that it's like a QAnon movie? No, no. Yeah, but oh. is it or is that just a narrative now? No, it's like a like it's supposed to be like an alt right that are like trying to make like convince people that like celebrities are the reason why there's sex trafficking. Oh. Oh, I have no idea yeah. what it's about because I can't find anything about Nobody it. Nobody can watch it. The, 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 the movie theaters are lighting on fire. Did you see this? Oh. It's insane. Dude, it's pretty crazy. Like, all the workers are coming out and they're like, yeah, well, if we start the movie again, the smoke's going to come up again. So if you guys want to sit through smoke, that's yeah, it's up so to you. Yeah, so the fire alarms will go off. Then it will say that it's sold out and people will go and there's no one in the theater. And then there will just be all this glitching on the screen and people are like, we're not going to leave. And they're like, we'll refund yeah. you. It's cra- And it's like people are recording it. It's just weird. And then they were saying, the bathrooms are out of order so everyone has to leave the theater everyone's like what's that's going on that's why i feel like it's just like QAnon people making it seem like it's oh, like this whole conspiracy theory sense, thing yeah. yeah but when it's like not actually real that's just a but i don't know i haven't like read too it. much about it but i did read like a whole like article about like how it's like not actually accurate i need to see the movie yeah i know oh wow that just goes to show that i don't know anything about anything yeah, I don't know. I'm I, so easily sheeped. You're a sheep? I guess so. I guess a lot of people are, though. Yeah, you're not. No. You're a wolf. I believed everything. I believe everything I see on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> everything I see. I started be- reading Reddits about myself. I'm like, fuck, this Yeah, dude, happened? I can't believe you started doing Reddit. I got bored on the plane, and then I started looking on Reddit, and oh, then no. I, um... It's just like, why would you do I started that? getting sad, and then I yeah. started saying... No, this is good you read it and you'll be sad and then you'll feel happy one day again 
Reddit's yeah. a bad place. It's terrible. I was finally three months sober, and then I saw you Reddit, so I was like, oh, Reddit. I had never Reddit it in my life. <laughs> I was just Redditing about uh, if I could take my antibiotics, and then I was like, well, let my finger slip my name in oh, here. Oh, God. And let me cry myself to sleep on this plight. There was a lot of men that wanted to bone you. Uh, not bone me. There was more of like kill me and rape me and dismember oh, me. Oh, disgusting. So I didn't know it got that that bad. Yeah, it wasn't cool. And then I'm like, oh, I'm like getting stalked then i got all scared that i'm gonna die and then maybe that's why the murder conspired uh, yeah so it's oh just gosh. a bad place reddit's a bad place and uh they're bad people and you're weird yeah, yeah. don't go on reddit yeah it's like ding ding and then i was like okay if you you can't look at your own reddit just go look at everyone else's reddit mm-hmm. i wouldn't look at anyone at barstools but i was just looking at all of the new york uh new york city influencers yeah they hate them uh, they hate them oh my so god included. that 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 stark reddit is just a hate filled oh it's so hateful world like someone will literally take a picture of like their shoe and the comments will be like she's so fucking stupid doesn't she realize shoes like go in your feet like isn't she so dumb <laughs> a shoe like she's yeah, so look at her ugly ankles. ew she doesn't oh know God. anything it's like she's literally just breathing like, like dude they hate on everyone for the smallest smallest shit it's like crazy. all of my instagram stories were screenshotted on there with just threads of everything i'm like what the fuck yeah. like just me t- talking about my day and it's like yeah. this dumb fucking broad man it's fuck like her. What? get a life yeah. it's it's literally just people that have no life that's why i kind of like to read it because i'm like these people are weird they're yeah. incels i don't know i'm just like what are you doing yeah. like what are you doing Ugh, i don't You're know bad person bad guy and then i started thinking okay well if these things because i fell down the rabbit hole of okay maybe these things are true and then i was like no this like you're falling into the QAnon fucking trap like yeah. <laughs> this is usually what it's saying on reddit is oh, the opposite of what's happening yes so then i was like oh okay maybe this will just be positive reinforcement i'll read those things and be like that is not true yeah this is not true didn't do that i would love to think positively and hopefully get to that point though i think you i think you have a better grasp on it uh yeah i'm never probably gonna look on reddit again yeah it's a great idea yeah you don't do it either well when you started i started too and i found this one of myself Grace O'Malley wants to date a fighter. It seems like a red flag to want to be a fighter and a red flag to want to date one. That's what I mean. Like, (laughs) they will take the littlest things and turn it into, like, just so hateful. Like, why? (laughs) Like, it's a joke and it's It's funny. It was a joke of last episode. It was literally, um, uh, everyone commented, they're like, bro... Like even the redditors oh, really? were like, like, it's not that deep. It's not that's that deep. She best. makes jokes like that all yeah. the time, man. That's the <laughs> best one that even the redditors are like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, I'm like, dude, that's like you're this crazy. Is a reach, man. <laughs> I couldn't help it, but when Francesca and Joe got engaged, like the chicks in the office, I just like wanted to look and see what they said, and people were like, they they um had an arranged marriage and like they've been going through this for a while like they like were set up by their parents like what it's like oh yeah for sure that's exactly what happened actually how wild is that yeah and it's just even crazier that people will get on reddit and believe what they're reading oh yeah yeah Yeah, oh wait really no way that makes so much sense oh shit dude it was right in front of my eyes dude i'm not gonna lie (sighs) fuck i'm i'm an internet troll i felt like i fucking not Reddit, but I fell into the trap of thinking we met Lauren Wolf for the first time. Yeah. There's a lot of negative things about her on the NYC thing. Yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe she's going to be mean. She was the sweetest, she nicest. She was so nice. She seemed so nice. She was like our favorite person from the trip. Yeah. Like she was just so cool and awesome. And I thought, I thought she was going to suck because yeah. of what I read online. Yep. Which is crazy. I'm sure she thought the same about us. Yeah. But it's just wild that you just read one thing and it just gets you spiraling and thinking. I know. And people just really fucking hate their, like, I'm talking about the New York snark one. Yeah. If they, they have their main characters mm-hmm. that they despise. Yeah. yeah they despise yeah. a select six. Yeah. <laughs> it's wow it's crazy <laughs> it's harmful it's i would harmful. not be able to post if i knew that people were like posting about me yeah, like that glad we're not that popular because ours weren't that crazy no i feel like you guys it's not even that you guys aren't as popular it's just like maybe we're they not just that they just cho- yeah like low-key and they just choose like these girls to just attack yeah they can't i think it really come out those poor yeah. girls some people are insufferable yeah that's, that's true just life that's, that's true. life we're insufferable in moments too <laughs> yeah dude sometimes like i'm just like dude shut the fuck up <laughs> shut the fuck up I'm like what is wrong with you just be quiet just shut like, your mouth like just go home or something <laughs> I I don't know. sometimes i'm like yeah you're a fool you're you're a fucking ass wipe yeah 
Asswipe's a cool word. I like it. My mom says that a lot. Yeah. Asswipe. You fucking asswipe. My mom calls uh, flip-flops thons and yeah. jeans dungarees. Dungarees. She from Australia? I don't know where the bitch from. Like I said, mm. don't know much about my family. Mm. <laughs> I know my mother, though. You were um, you were stolen as a kid because you were so tan, they say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It's yeah. all coming. So let's get that 23 and me and find out. Okay. We should do a trip to really Italy are. And, and do our full family backgrounds. Okay, I'm in. I'm not Italian. We'll go then to we'll Ireland, go to Ireland too. Perfect. Yeah. Hannah, what are you? Italian. Are you Ooh, a little Norwegian. We could get on a cruise ship. Yeah, I was just going to say so. Yes. Should we just get a yacht? I, yeah, yeah I mean, 11 billion an episode. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, million. Uh, Don't you worry. Come on. Frugal. Come there, was, on. there was this one point on the trip that I wanted Brianna to come over and just say, all right, the deal's done. Yeah. And I said, what's the deal? And she said, I got you uh, two for uh, for whatever. And I'm like, two what? Billion. Two billion. Mm. And everyone would be like, what? Yeah. Oh, there was one point on the trip where everyone was talking about their feelings and that was tricky. We're not um, good at that. Yeah. So we, we would like sit around. It was a very emotionally intelligent group. Mm-hmm. They were really in touch with their feelings. Mm-hmm. Um, I write in my journal, um, but I'm not very keen to conversations with people I don't know about my deepest, darkest feelings. Not so much. And it's a beautiful thing that others are. It was great to watch. Willing to learn, willing to know. Couldn't do it though. Yeah. So we'd like go around in a circle and they would ask us, what is this one thing that you really want to reach and strive for? What is the purpose of life? Or like, oh, what is something? And it was, gr- I loved listening to everyone else. I loved listening thing. to everyone. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And then when it got to our turn, I was like, no, thank you. We we're like, oh, triggered. I was like, can I, can I go never? <laughs> yeah. I think every time you just think, yeah, I think what she thinks. Yeah. Well, like one, at one point it was like, what's something you've done in the past year that you're really proud of? And like, everyone was going around. I was like, I had sex for the first time in two years. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, good big stats. accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was tricky for us. Everyone else was very in in touch, in touch with their feelings. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we need to get better at that. I'd rather just scream into a pillow and Me too. cut myself. Oh God! What? Oh. Who said that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's from a shark, shark bite. Okay. <laughs> okay, chug your coffee. Nothing ever happens. Oh. Everything's okay. It's a dark episode, I guess. Yeah, no, it was fun. It was dark undertones. Uh, no, I don't think Just so. Just like the new season of The Summer I Turned Oh, yep, that's right. This, it all goes back to Summer. Yeah. This, this episode reminds me a lot of that of that show. Oh, wow. I'm excited to watch. I haven't yeah. slept yet. I'm like, don't Yeah, you must be tired. I'm pretty exhausted. I gotta go. That was a crazy choice to just not sleep. Well, okay, so I was laying, I was laying in bed. I feel like it's better for your... To get back on schedule, yeah, right? Yeah. So I was laying in bed, and then I just started journaling, and then I started reading my book because I thought that would make me fall asleep, mm-hmm. but it just made my brain go crazy. Yeah. And then the sun came up, oh gosh. and then it was 8 o'clock, and I'm oh like, boy. then my alarm goes off at 9, oh, wow. and then it's time to go to the office. Oh, Jesus. And then now here I am, haven't oh. slept, drank three energy drinks, haven't eaten anything, oh, going to pass wow. out. Also, Hannah gave me an anti-acid pill, and my stomach's hurting. Almost shit my pants a lot of times today, too. Oh, wow. Fiji food's hitting where hard. Did you, I've been where did you pants. choose to poop? Everywhere, all over the office. Oh, Every wow. bathroom I christened today. That's it was really nice. the first time I've ever done it because I had to. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just have to. Sometimes you just have to. It was tough. I just kept saying, please don't walk in. Please don't walk in. Please don't walk Oh, it's tough when that happens. Wait, Brie, did you start a Court of Thorns and Roses yet? No. Oh, I started what was uh, that? Court, the My book that I talked oh, about, yes. remember? Yeah. I'm on. I'm reading A Happy Place right now. Oh, yes. Do you like it? Love it. Okay. I'm not it's a little cheesy. It it's so cheesy far. a little, but I really, really liked it. Yeah. Mixed reviews. Yeah. Books are fun. It's like the most unrealistic uh like life expectation like you yeah. go on a trip with all your friends with your ex-boyfriend but no one knows that you broke up yeah it's kind of stupid but uh, i've heard some things in real life that could be parts of movies and books mm, that's true oh yeah mm-hmm. wow life's crazy life's crazy mm-hmm. life's a movie man life's this is just a scene you make it so this is our scene from fiji and next time we talk to you maybe we will both be happy <laughs> I'm happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Gun to her head. Happy, 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 girl. Mm-hmm. We're going to give a good cry. I'm going to cry today just because I'm overtired. Hopefully you cry too and we get it all out. We could cry together. Mm. Separately, we could turn each other's backs. Turn we, turn cry on each- on, we could cry on each side of a door. Oh, yes. Like a fucking movie. <laughs> like Frozen. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Love yeah. is an open door. And we could pack your room up with boxes. Yeah. <laughs> okay perfect that's it we're gonna go now <laughs> thank you so much for listening and watching and loathing <laughs> we'll talk to you guys on tuesday <laughs>